Hey everyone, it's Cupcake. Welcome to another episode of DIY Geeky Goodies where I make all things geeky and creative and show you how to do them. So, like you guys requested, today I'm going to be making a Super Mario wooden wall decor. So I'm really excited to do this. I'm really excited to add new stuff to the wall. So what you guys are gonna need is these quarter of an inch wooden cubes. Check out the description to find out where I bought mine. Black, red, and burnt sienna paints. A paintbrush. Glue, I am using Gorilla's wood glue, but you can use Elmer's glue also. And optional is a gloss medium varnish. I am using Liquitex. The first thing you're going to need to do is decide what colors you're going to use. I really wanted the wood to shine through, so I decided to use the natural wood color for his skin color, black for his hair, shoes, and shirt, and a reddish brown for his hat and overalls. For his skin, you're going to need 44 cubes. For his hat and overalls, you're going to need 58 cubes. And for his hair, shirt, and shoes, you're going to need 67 cubes. I only painted the top side because it'll make this process go a long way faster. Once you have all of your colors painted and dry, you're now ready to start placing them together. I would recommend pulling up a pixelated picture of Mario on your computer so you have a guide to follow. Make sure to lay down some wax paper when you're gluing so that the actual wood will not stick to the surface you're working on. I found it's easier to work top to bottom, each row by row. Things are less confusing that way, but if you do make a mistake, don't worry, you can just pull it apart. The wood has natural occurring lines, and what I did was just alternate them sideways and vertically, so horizontal and vertical, horizontal and vertical. That may make things a little bit more difficult, but it adds a really cool effect in the end. Once you're done gluing and it's all dry, now you can add a varnish on top of it. I'm using a gloss medium varnish because I don't want it to be too shiny, but I do want it to have a little shine. I also noticed that when you put the varnish on the natural color wood, it really brings out the color in it, and it just looks awesome. The varnish will also help protect your wood and paint, and will act as another adhesive for it. If you're worried that it's going to fall apart once you hang it, you can turn it over and add glue on the back end through all of the cracks. Once you're done with that, you now have your very own awesome Super Mario wall art. I am super happy with this. You guys can see the reflection. I love the varnish on it. And I'm really happy that I used the natural wood color for the skin and that I kept the tones of this piece natural. So I'm really happy with this. I want to hang it on my wall somewhere. I also added um, this on the back with some Gorilla Glue. You can find these at Home Depot or any hardware supply store. I don't know what they're called, but it's to hang them on the walls. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you guys try it out. If you do try it out, be sure to tweet me an image at IHasCupquake. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you later.